Scandium is a silvery white metal that is fairly soft. It is fairly stable in air, but gradually changes color from silvery white to yellowish due to the production of C2O3 oxide on the surface, except for hydrofluoric acid, HF, where a protective trifluoride layer prevents further reactivity. The metal slowly dissolves in dilute acids. Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Today, we are going to talk about Scandium, before we get started with the video, don't forget to smash the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get started. In 1871, Russian chemist Dmitry Ivanovich Mendeleev suggested that this element existed and gave it the working name Akaboron. In 1879, Swedish chemist Lars Fredrik Nilsson found its oxide, Scandia, in the rare earth minerals Kadalonite and Euxinite. Later that same year, Swedish chemist Per Tudor Cleave confirmed that scandium was the real acabarin. Scandium is present in minor amounts, often less than 0.2%, in many heavy lanthanide ores, as well as numerous tin, uranium, and tungsten ores. Fortbitite, a scandium silicate, is the sole mineral that contains significant levels of scandium, approximately 34%. However, it is extremely rare and is not a significant source of scandium. Scandium has a rather high cosmic abundance, although it is just around the 50th most prevalent element on Earth, as is beryllium. It is roughly the 23rd most abundant element in the Sun. Scandium exists in nature as a single stable isotope, scandium-45, scandium-46, half-life of 83.79 days, is the most stable of 25, excluding nuclear isomers, radioactive isotopes, with masses ranging from 36 to 61, whereas scandium-39, half-life of less than 300 nanoseconds, is the least stable. The insoluble potassium scandium sulfate precipitation method, or the diethyl ether extraction method, are both used to separate scandium from the other rare earths. The metal itself was created in 1938 using the electrolysis of potassium, lithium, and scandium chlorides in a eutectic combination, a mixture with the lowest melting point feasible with those components. Scandium is now mostly generated as a byproduct of uranium extraction from the mineral davidite, which contains approximately 0.02% scandium oxide. Only a few applications for this peculiar transition metal have been identified, owing to scandium's scarcity and expensive cost. Because of its low density and high melting point, it could be used as an alloying agent in lightweight metals for military and high-performance applications. Scandium is primarily used as an alloy addition to aluminum-based alloys used in sporting goods and in high-intensity metal halide lamps. Scandium reduces high temperature grain development when alloyed with aluminum and aluminum-based alloys. That's the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up, and do not forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.